Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Backpack Bounce Run, and today I'm gonna try to do the build that beat our busted game run yesterday, which is more specifically going to be the Vampire Blade Spikes build. Oh, we got two regen right away, that's very nice and lucky. I would say let's get the pin, do I want the piggy bank? Let's buy the piggy bank, start gaining some money. Most likely lose the first fight just because of what I just did. Uh, I guess buy garlic, I guess lock the leather bag. I guess both of these. Yeah, let's just go and hope for the best. Theoretically, this is not a good build unless we fight against an ranger. It is an ranger, but we're not gonna survive the burst here. They have a more bursty build than us. Unless the healing is gonna be enough, which theoretically it should not be. Maybe the garlic is gonna save us somehow. They do not have healing whatsoever. Oh, they crit us, man. Why do they crit? And we missed. They crit, we miss. Very fair. Anyway, fatigue's kicking in. That crit's gonna be the biggest difference, difference maker. Yeah, we lost. And also us missing. Yeah, I mean, they had seven life. I missed. They would have had five... And I would have had also four, and then one more region would have survived. But it is what it is. Buy not region, buy the room, roll them, and uh, I guess we don't have room for anything else. Let's go. We don't have money, actually. And uh, do I want to lock for this? I'm not sure I want to lock for anything right now. Let's just go. Hopefully, it's going to be another ranger fight. Now, this should be even more bursting than the previous fight. But this time, we have six. <laughs> this time, we have six region, and they have just one banana. I mean, we don't have damage is the main issue. You should always throw away the wooden sword as fast as possible, man. And just get whatever weapon appears in front of you. That's what I started realizing. Started realizing, I mean, it was very obvious from a long time ago. Did they crit us again or did they just do 7 damage like crazy, mad lad? And we lost. And we lost. Fair enough. Down to 3 lives. That's a sift video for ya. Uh, we found spikes. Might as well buy them so we have something going on. And we also found a banana, might as well have that going on. And another region, very nice. That's really good for the future. <clears throat> it's as if we're future-proofing the run. Literally. <laughs> because there is no other chance here to do anything else. And let's see how this gonna go. We crit them right away, wow, for two damage. That's nice. Now this time we have eight region. This time I don't think we should be losing from anything, to be honest. Like from anything at all. By the way, I'm always like at the beginning of the game, I'm like, okay, we're gonna do this build, I'm gonna force it, but I'm not sure if that's always a good idea. Also, a bunch of people are playing uh, Ripsaw Blade, like, uh, this is the third time I'm taking this, and I literally died from triple Ripsaw Blades back to back to back. Um, I thought I had a chance one run, and then boom, triple Ripsaw Blade. Uh, let's go with this, so we actually can start combining those to get the little shield, and uh, might as well buy even more room. Room is important. Uh, let's also buy the stone, always buy stone if you have the choice to do so. At the end of a turn, just remember to sell it, because I'm always forgetting to sell it. We got also a wooden sword still for a weapon. Which isn't really good, it's as if we don't have a weapon. And this is a poi- I mean, if I just had one carrot, I think we would have won. But because I don't have a carrot, I think we're gonna lose. Because of the poison application, not any other reason. Now, they don't have healing, so as long as I can hit them a couple more times, zero, because shielded. As long as I can- he 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 come on, fatigue- fatigue save us. We have eight regen, so the poison is not even a thing. We have more region than they poison us. So, yeah, I think we won. They don't have healing at all. Nice. They had the healing potion, of course, but other than that, they didn't have healing. Come on, these. Nice. We got a nice little piggy bank. I could also buy a cab of resilience early. I've never done that. I guess I can buy a cab of resilience. Nah. We need to find specific things to win. Nice. We found another region. Let's have these all in the little corners. So whoever sees this build is going to be like, what is this guy doing? Let's also sell the stone. And let's go with the Lucky Piggy combo. We'll also go with the bow and arrow, the new bow and arrow, the Fortuna bow. I still do not have a weapon, by the way. <coughs> I should have bought the bow and arrow now that I'm thinking about this. It, it could have helped us this early game. Uh, now, this is a scaling build. We have 10 region, which they don't. And we also have 3 spikes, which retaliates damage to them. But they will start gaining in power, and they will take over the fight. Uh, they only have one banana to heal, though. So I think we're getting this from the spikes alone. Yeah, the spikes are carrying us. We need a better weapon. <coughs> if anything, I, I should maybe even throw away the sword, because... Uh, the sword did 27. The spikes did 74. <laughs> Another spike, cheap even. And we found also a carrot. Let's buy the carrot. Rotate that like this. So we maybe have a chance to get damage. Uh, fanny pack. Might as well buy this. Put it on... I would say the carrot and the sword. Assuming... It, and Yeah, assuming... Assuming that the opponent is going to be a poison build. Do I want another Warlock's Tusk to go with even more spike shield? <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Why not? Let's roll them. And I found a good old glove of haste. Obviously, we're gonna buy that. And a banana, which I could buy right now. Will I have energy issues in the long term? First of all, we found the spear. We're, we're buying the spear. We're buying the, we're buying the spear. Now I have some damage at least. Uh, can I min max this in a way so that I get more range on this? I don't think so. I mean, if I pull this this one more back, 
But for us to pull that one more back, we need to reorganize these. I'm pretty sure I can, but I'm going to just assume the opponent's not going to have uh, shielding. And the opponent's not going to have a shielding. Boom. For force the future. You see, they don't have shielding. Easy life. So there was no reason for me to pull that back. This specifically pierces shielding, not the wood buckler block. So there's that. They blocked us twice in a row, by the way. We have 10 regions, so, and we have a carrot. This should be a win. Good decision on the carrot actually being min-maxed. I told you were going to fight poison. Uh, and we have literally zero poison right now because they haven't min-maxed things inside of the storage coffin. Yeah, this fanny pack here should be up here, and then the garlic should be in the middle. Just to be clear about this. Uh, we, we're winning here. We have a lot more region than what they have. Actually, no, they have a lot of healing too. But we won. Nice. And we found the blueberry and the blood amulet and the blood of gloves face. Obviously, we're going to go with the gloves of face and blood amulet right away. Although, although, I do want to get the blood, um, what is it called? The blood, I don't remember what it's called. Buy these, I don't have money for the room, that was not smart. Sell the piggy bank. Buy the room. I guess I completely wasted the piggy bank there. Now, now what I'm trying to say previously was that I want to get the, um, what is it called? There is like an item. My mind's blank right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm blanking. Uh, there is an item that gives you... You know what? This one. Uh, the Vampiric Armor. That's what I want to get. Because this is actually good with, if you have Vampirism. Oh, the build is this, by the way. The Blood Throne is what we're going to go with. But the gloves of... Uh, Vampiric Gloves are also really good. Especially early game. So uh, let's maybe reorganize this just a smidgy bit. Uh, you know what? This can go one left. And this here. And this can go up. Done. Uh, we will definitely buy blueberries because we want to get... Uh, mana and because we want to get luck and blueberries give us luck and this i should beat nope they have a garlic i was thinking if they didn't have garlic it's a guaranteed win but they do have a garlic we also have 10 regen so um theoretically we should not have any issues whatsoever i'm also waiting for one more buckler if i missed it by mistake because i want to get this second warlord's task of course i want to be beating any ranger we fight whatsoever and i should just pray to not get reapers that's how we go because if you have double spike shield you're beating all the rangers man straight up they have 10 luck and we still won. Very nice. And we found the item of choice cheap. That's extremely lucky. Aggressive Leaf. Start of battle gain mana and regen for each nature item connected. And every five mana used. I mean, I'm not going to be using mana. Cleanse, debuffs, and heal. But I mainly care about the region aspect of this. And we found another lucky clover. Also found the bone arrow, which I could just straight up jam in the build just to get some damage. Um, I think I should jam this in the build, honestly, to get free wins early game and then maybe sell it later. Is that a good idea right now? I mean, I'm going to be spending money by doing that, though, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hope just to get the Weapon of Trace. I found the cover resilience for four. I'm going to definitely buy this. Also buy Redoom. Roll them. And uh, we found the Leather Armor for the thing I wanted to create previously. If you remember, I said I wanted the Vampire Glove on the Leather Armor. Well, that's now a dream gone. And Box of Riches is not really needed. I'm going to go Fanny Pack. Let's pull this back. It definitely should go somewhere else. Uh, actually, I should do a reorganize time here. And I will buy the leather armor in general. I do want to get the thing I said I want to get in order. So we, we need to get a, a lot of pieces, a lot of moving pieces all around. I want this here to be min-maxed. That's what I'm mainly thinking about. So this should go one Yeah, let me reorganize time. Okay, I think this is pretty decent. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's actually give this thing range. Yeah, I think it's decent. I don't know. Let's just go with this. We're piercing for shielding. The opponent's not even going to have shielding, man. I don't know why I'm thinking about this. The opponent's not going to have shielding. Boom. Just will it into existence. You see? They have shielding. Well, should have had this more powered up. But it is what it is. We're still piercing for shielding per attack. So we're still pretty good here. And I have good, really good attack speed. By the way, I'm giving the attack speed to the banana just to not run out of energy. Although I don't see us having energy issues. How much does this attack? This is spending one stamina per second. So we definitely don't need the banana to be gaining this. I will be putting that on... I would say the blueberry, so that we can get mana and luck faster, because luck gives us crits, obviously. Come on, give me the weapon of choice, man. We found the Harley Armor, we found another Gloves of Face, and we found the blueberry. Nice, we're gonna buy all of these. And this. And this. Although this is literally gonna be wasted for the time being. Uh, definitely go this, and definitely stamina pack for room. Do I have a stone? <laughs> no. Uh, as I said, we, do our, we are already okay with this thing, so I would say let's reorganize here just a little bit. And I think we're good to go. I still want to keep the resilience. We will die from enemy spikes. Do I want the second banana? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to have energy issues in general. As long as we have the bananas rolling. 
Although a second banana isn't really that bad. Nah, I don't think we're gonna have energy issues. Let's go. <clears throat> I need to get the build in order at some point. I should have bought the stone, by the way. And it's a spikes build. Which is bad for us. As we will get spiked to death for sure. And it's a super duper spikes build. It has two spikes. And we do now have energy issues. Unbelievable that I just decided to throw the banana out the moment this happened. We have poison too. Because this they got they went with the poison ivy. Uh, we have too much poison. 16 regions may be saving us, but they have 20 spikes. This destroyed us. Down to 2 health. Welcome to the Sif channel. We'll, we always play with 2 health. No! No! Nah, I didn't see that in time. This is getting sold. I mean, not yet. Right now, at least we have the weapon. Ah, Sift blind, man. Sift blind. Spam the emoji. And here's the weapon of choice, the Angry Blade. This joins, this goes. This is gonna stay for now. It spends only 0.5 stamina, so it isn't really that bad. Uh, but now we will have stamina issues, so let's rotate this back again. We're still getting all the value out of those. Okay, now, now I don't even need things to be in specific spots anymore. Because I previously had that issue. So, let's actually do a mini reorganized time so I can fit things in. This definitely is gonna join. And do we have one, two, three, four, five, six rooms? So this also fits. I'm gonna do a full-on reorganize, so give me a second here. It's gonna take a while. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this right now. As of this moment, I obviously, as you can see, we don't have this exactly mapped out. Actually, I could... Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I can increase this by at least one. Nope. <laughs> That's not gonna increase it. <laughs> yeah. Well, might as well have it floating, just so that it looks more weird. <laughs> it, it's the same amount anyway. So, uh, let's go, I would say. Uh, now we have a uh, clause of attack, which gets more attacks based on how many spikes we have. And also, I mean, I'm gonna keep this in the game, because we will be scaling spikes regardless. And uh, <laughs> let's go. And it's gonna also give us empower every five attacks. Let's see how this is gonna go. Uh, by the way, I'm still giving the attacks with the banana here because we're going to be spending a bunch of energy, as far as I'm concerned. They are current Gubert build. Let's see who wins. Uh, I, I have 13 vampires right now, and I'm going to be gaining more and more and more and more. And we also start gaining the empower here. Three spikes is enough for this thing to attack in a sizable speed. Yeah, this attacks, yeah, we destroy them. Nice. Nice, fast destruction. Uh, let's go on to the next one. And we found a uh, pineapple. I'm going to buy this. And I also found a wooden buckler for the spike that actually got combined. I'm kidding. Uh, let's go like this. Maybe avoid here one more star. Nice. And I'm literally missing. I mean, I can just throw something in the corner just like that. And this is maxed out. So we started with 10 region and 10 mana. Very nice. I don't care about the banana, honestly. And we found potion. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with heroic potion. I would say yes on this. I could also go with a uh, book of light for mana, by the way. I will still go for a yes with this and I will buy this. Uh, I would like to buy heroic potions and just jam them in the build. And the reason is that uh, I, I'm not gonna buy Book of Flight, by the way. We want to get keep this 10 mana so that these two start giving us luck, so we start doing crazy damage. And uh, the reason why I want to get the, the Heroic Potion here with the Potion Belt is because uh, um, opponents might steal our energy away. Also, at some point, when I will get the Thorn Whip, I will need to go under in mana-wise. We are losing the Poison Fight here, although I have literally one carrot. Forget that, we should be losing the Poison Fight. They just drank their potions, by the way. We're destroying these boys. We are destroying them. Nice. What does the most damage in our build, by the way? I have 17 vampires in there. So I'm assuming that's going to be the Vampire Blade. Yeah, 100, 100 Blade, 150, and Claws of Attack, only 70. But they are giving us Empower, so it is good. We found a Jinx or Killer. As I said, I want this to join. I don't need it to right now be active. Uh, Jinx or Killer is guaranteed needing to be active, though. And I would say this is the best spot for it. So... This needs to go, I guess, down here for now. I don't even know. I don't even know. What am I doing? We're going to fit these all in, man. These all are going to fit. Definitely buy this for room. And this does actually fit here. Nice. So we lose one starting energy and whatnot. I don't think it's going to be that much of a difference. It's just going to be one more less man and one less region. But this now is hitting literally the whole build. Um, so it's going to increase the attack speed of that anyway. The other choice would be to have it something like... Nah, it's good here. It's good here. Maybe up here... But like here to be actually this is the perfect spot for it which i don't think i can do right now i mean this is also a pretty good spot uh let's we don't have to reroll let's go i need to find the thorn whip to be honest and this is obviously a god build <laughs> we should theoretically lose against this unless my vampirism is so strong that we somehow survive but, i mean we are doing more dps than them but they should outscale us in all our fronts Nope, they're not, because they don't actually have anything to scale. They just have a bunch of garlic and a bunch of bananas. Yep, easy enough. Very nice, we won. We found the garlic for one. 
I don't care about it. Let's go. Second Hungry Blade. You know what? Maybe the play is to go with Double Hungry Blade. We have so much region. With Double Hungry Blade, I can very quickly build up the, um, the Vampirism to insane amounts. Honestly speaking, I don't even need to go to the Spike thingy. Yeah, I can just stick to du Double Hungry Blade. I go, go with just a bunch of Vampirism. Is that a good idea, man? This also sounds like such a stupid idea. But the thing is, I'm not going to be eating through the healing orbs fast enough. But, but, what is also true is that I'm going to die <laughs> from uh, the Eripsaw Blade. Maybe Goobert is the play. Vampire Goobert. Ooh, let's try Vampire Goobert. Uh, definitely get the attack speed. I would say let's give it to the Torquilla. This can go to the other side. And uh, if those are on the other side, then this can also go to the other side. This can go up here. This can go over there. Done. And now this can be min-maxed again. Nice. And the Goobert should be... I mean... <laughs> uh, I guess it should be where I tried to put in the beginning. Here it's going to be hitting the Torquilla. This is not going to be healing us enough, in my opinion. I need like a mini reorganized time again, again. Okay, here we go. And once again, this is missing two spots, but it's okay. At least this is min-maxed. And uh, I mean, right now, only the Claws of Attack and the Hungry Blade is getting... Is, is, is Are the ones that get activated. Oh, this should go one down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Reorganize again. Okay, I think we got it. Once again, not the super duper duper perfect build, but pretty decent. I would say let's also reorganize these. Um, yeah, I think it's better like that. This was like that. No, no, no. Uh, and we obviously want to give the attacks with the banana still. And everything is connected this time. So, and the lucky piggy skill helping here. I think we're ready to go. Man, this takes like a year. Let's roll him. And we found the we, we found the Gubert. Nice. Nice. And I also found the weapon of choice. Nice. And I also found the glove of space. Nice. <laughs> 50,000 nices. Uh, what do I want between all of these? I mean, the gloves of space are really going to help with even more attacks on the Hungry Blade. That is obviously for sure. Do I want to add that right this moment? I mean, I can buy this just to get the room. And the next round, I'm going to buy the throwing web. Do I need the Goobert more? Maybe the Goobert's a better choice. Ah, we're going to see. We're going to see. Let's hope we're gonna survive this. This is the Ripsaw Blade, so literally so considered to counter us. Although we're not really that crazy into spikes, it's just gonna take my region away. Um, and also the attack speed of the Claws of Attack, of course. We are losing energy. How much attack speed does this have? 0.91. Okay, and this spends 1.1 stamina. Okay, I think I think the Claws of Attack have to go. Because they're taking stamina away from us. And we only care about the Hungry Blade attacking, honestly. We are getting empowered, don't get me wrong. Nice, we won. Woo! Off we go into Endless. I mean, it's not Endless. It should have been Endless. Uh, sell this. For sure. I would say we buy these two. Get the Goobert and the Thorn Whip at the same time. The shield goes, I guess, for one turn. And this somehow fits. Well, you know the word. You know the word. <laughs> Reorganize time. Okay. Uh, I think we got this. I think we got this. So this is maxed out, that means we start with 10 mana, and that means that these two are going to instantly start giving us, the both blueberries are going to instantly start giving us luck. Now this shield is going to get joined later, obviously we have the room here, <laughs> obviously uh, we sold the spiky thing, uh, but let's hope I'm not going to fight against, you know what, you know what, actually let's, let's just put this in and lose one region and one mana. Because I think these three spikes this gives us, and also the fact that if we fight against a ranger, this is going to literally block them, their madness. I think we got this. Hopefully, we're going to survive this. As I said, this is going to be the hardest turn for us, as we will have energy issues. Uh, I would have liked for this Tortilla to not be hitting the Thorn Whip, because that's the main culprit here. But let's hope we're going to survive. I mean, we have three lives, so this is a guaranteed survival regardless. And this is a Poison Explosion build, which should be an issue for us. And they also have Tim. Oh, we should lose. Unless we get crazy buffs. And as I said, unless the Thorn Whip misses. Now, of course, the Theoric Potion is going to be drunk here. But still, we're going to have issues. We have 17. I mean, man, we have so much Vampirism. As long as only the Hungry Blade is attacking, we're good. Which seems to be the case because the Thorn Whip is obviously blocked. And nice, nice. 44. 58. And we won. We also have 14 luck. We also got the Empower. Nice. And now... We got the build for four turns. This is exactly the build. We got the full build. I mean, I'm still missing the little armor part. Uh, I also got another luck. Starting with luck, as I said, is important because at five luck, we start gaining carrot buffs. 
So let's buy this. And what does this thing do? And what does this thing do? So first of all, this thing says, convert one of my region, which we have like 20 off, uh, into vampirism and spikes. And deals plus one damage per spikes and vampirism. And this here says, every time, uh, first of all, start with two region of vampirism. And every six time act, uh, items activate around this, steal 10 life, increase by one for each vampirism. So if I have 20 vampirisms, this steals 30 life away, which is insane. It's like a very big number. <laughs> 20 is a big number. <laughs> Shift be like, uh, let's put this here so this fires a bit more often. And I would like to have one more item up here to the fire. So even more often, I'm not going to use the Book of Light. Once again, we want the mana to scale luck. I don't care about the mana itself. Uh, might as well buy room. Starting energy. How much energy does this cost? 1.5. This is going to be firing very fast. So let's actually buy starting energy. Let's put it there. You guys can go wherever. Uh, let's roll them. Found mana gain. Do I care about mana gain? No. Let's buy. put this over there. And I just want one item over here that can attack pretty fast. By the way, I'm thinking about Torquilla here. Yeah, because now here it hits everything. You know what time it is. Reorganize time. <laughs> Done. Got it. <clears throat> I mean, I'm literally missing one spot, but it's not because of um, failed placement. It's because I don't have items to put there. Uh, now, of course, this attack speed here is definitely going to stay where it is. I was also thinking maybe to do something like that. Uh, but no, uh, I'm, I'm just going to find one more item in a moment, right? So first of all, let's roll. We have money. Oh, we got heroic potion. I'm going to buy the heroic potion. Definitely buy the heroic potion. Why not? Lining these up is good. Uh, I could go for the gin lamp, by the way. I'm not really generating shielding, though. We started with a bunch of shielding, but I'm not generating shielding. And uh, honestly, I just want to find one more vampirism stone. Forget the heroic potion. I just want to find one more vampirism stone that I can get this leather armor to become a vampire armor. Let's also flip these two look at like the same amount. Actually, I think double heroic potion is an idea. Let's go. Let's run this. Uh, now, what is the idea here? Well, we generate a bunch of vampirism. This gives us six this gives us two, so we're at eight. And then this here gives us one each time it attacks. We have so much region. We have like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times two. That's 12. And then this gives us another nine. So that's a 21 region. Even if the opponent's rips our blade, we're going to be able to at least generate 15 to 20 vampirism. And then this here is going to be doing a bunch of damage to the opponent. That is the idea of the build. Uh, you know what I actually want? I want the thing that says chance to... Here we go. <laughs> That's how luck works, man. Just roll away and get what you want. Um, I want what I want to get, though. <laughs> factually speaking, now is the oh, my mind is blank again. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I want to get the ring that says higher crit chance because the goobert can crit, and you can check this by grabbing it and seeing if this lights up. You see that this is the crit bag. So this, for example, does not light it up. So that means it does not does not get affected. If, when you have this, it lights up. So that means it gets affected. Let's go. Man, I want to do a practical great sword run again now that I'm thinking about this. And let's see how this gonna go. Uh, this is uh, the god build, the exiled world. So let's hope we're gonna build up enough. We are at 11 vampirism. So as I said, every time this here fires, we steal life away and they're gone. And they're gone. We got hit very heavily, but they also got very heavily. Where's the 40 damage Excalibur here? Where's the vampirism? I want to see the... Where's I, I want to see the... Ah, it only did 20. It didn't crit. It didn't crit. Fair enough. How much crit chance do you have right now? 35. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I found out Goobert. <laughs> we could go for the double Goobert. What is better, though? The leather armor or the double Goobert? I think the double Goobert is the play. And I can put it here. Although, eh, uh, how easily will I activate that thing? I think the double Goobert is the play, man. I think the double Goobert is the play. It's gonna be a lot more powerful than the leather armor, honestly. Yeah, let's, let's just throw this out in the first place. And it's gonna go something like this. I'm gonna pull this one back. Yeah, I'm gonna um, maybe not min-max the Igrosi Leaf. It's gonna be something like this. So it hits the Blueberry and it hits the Torquilla and it also hits the other Goobert so they cross-activate. Otherwise, I can have it here and just be like, okay, it's just gonna get buffed from the Sword and then just bring one more Blueberry over to the corner, which I can't do right now. But this would also be good, like having it here attacking pretty often. Uh, let's, uh, let's definitely buy these though to combine them. And for now, I would say this should go like this. So it heals a little bit. And this can go over here anyway, because we were in win max in the first place. Uh, please become Blood Goobert. You can lock. I'm not going to become the super duper mega sludge. Uh, this can definitely fit in the cost of something else. Nope. No cost. 
easy enough. It fitted. These still combined. Let's make sure that's not going to be a mistake. I could buy Corrupted Crystal, but I don't think I need it. Uh, four more starting armor. Might as well, I guess. Nah. Let's let's roll. Let's roll maybe another Blood Amulet. Another Torquilla. We buy that. We buy that other Torquilla for sure. We should not be losing from anything, to be honest. And this is a Spikes Potion Explosion Shielding build. Would be nice if I had the thing that pierces shielding. Doesn't matter, though. We are a scaling build in the first place. We should not have issues against all of these. It's a Ripsaw Blade. As I told you, a bunch of people are playing Ripsaw Blade. But it's too late. 17 Vampirism is enough to literally not lose. They start drinking the potion. They're going to explode this in a moment. Oh, no. It hasn't exploded yet. That's bad. Because now they have 250 shielding. I mean, we're still healing from all the goobers and whatnot. We have 32 poison, which is a bit too high. Yeah, we lose this. We lose this fight. Fair enough. Sift be like we can't lose. Actually, it's very close. Raxlow, that was a nice fight. That was actually a nice fight. So right runs. We're going to play two more runs. Nice. I found another healing herb, which I think I should buy because that's my main issue. Getting healing. And we're going to obviously buy the Torquilla. And I would say we put it here. And uh, yeah, I mean, is this even hitting everything? No, I guess it should be... What should this be hitting? Is my question. Man, do I need to reorganize again? This corner isn't good. I mean, these Trochilas could be hitting each other. That's it. Or something like... Ah, I need to reorganize again. Let's let me actually... Let me actually roll a bit. No. And not one really. Another attack speed. Yeah, and that's actually also maxed out. So let me reorganize again. Okay, I think we're good. I mean, we still have this 45 armor, which might not be important, but maybe it's gonna save us against some kind of burst. I could sell it, but there isn't anything here that I would like to buy. Maybe the hammer, but I don't think so. So, the idea is the following. We want the blood goobers to fire as often as possible. We have double jinx or kill up, literally hitting everything. We will have energy issues, guaranteed, because obviously the banana is not connected to anything, but we need the banana to be firing. You know what? Let's actually have the banana here in the middle. Yeah, let's give all the crazy attacks with the banana alongside everything else. And this blueberry might not have it. Might as well. I think that's better this way. And uh, yeah, let's hope for the best. Uh, the blueberries are going to give us luck. I'm still hoping I'm going to find a lucky ring for the final item. We can still lose both fights here, but I think we got this. Unless it's another Ripsaw Blade. It's another Ripsaw Blade. I'm telling you. Did you remember what I told you in the beginning? Oh, everyone's playing Ripsaw Blade. <laughs> we are taking big hits here, but I do have enough time to get my vampirism up to sizable amounts. I'm at 17 already, and 18 vampirism, and we got him. We got him, boys. We got him, boys. And did we get any crits from the goobrits? 28, this didn't crit. Bloodthorn crit. 56 damage. Blood goobrit crit for 56, man. <laughs> Destroyed him. Destroyed him. Give me the ring. Another Torquilla. Another Torquilla. Unbelievable. Do I want... It's even cheap, man. I would like it like this. So it hits both Torquillas. That's what we're gonna do. That's the trick, man. Hit both Torquillas and the banana, but do not hit the Bloodborne, Bloodborne, so that this does not uber speed and burns our energy away. I do need the bananas to hit, and I do want these but Torquillas to fire faster and faster. Uh, this is important, though. We buy the carrot for sure. <laughs> nice. So this is gonna make us uh, gain in power. Let's roll them. Another blueberry that gives us luck. That's also very important. So let's build also this up and put it right here in front of us. Nice. Another Goobert. Nice. Should I go for another Cap of Resilience instead of the Leather Armor? I think so, yeah. Leather Armor is 45. Armor is not really that, that relevant. Let's go here. Roll him. Found another Vampirism. Unbelievable. Although it's a bit too late, of course, because this is the final round. Let's buy one Garlic just so we have some kind of item here at the end. And uh, might as well min-max this just a smidge more. I think double cup of resilience is going to help us more than what the other thing would. Have. Uh, let's maybe roll for nothing. I'm practically great sword, man. I love this thing. So now we have this Torquilla buffing both of those. And all of those are buffing everything. This carrot's multi-buffed. This banana's multi-buffed. And uh, also this blueberry's multi-buffed. All the things are multi-buffed. Let's go. We have insane amount of region and healing. Uh, the only way we're going to lose here is, I would say, first of all, a bunch of carrots to maybe not lose from debuffs. We're either going to lose... Actually, you know what? I, I, my gamble is we're only going to lose from somebody that has the gems that say opponents cannot heal. That's literally it. Nothing else should be able to beat us. Okay. So what is this build? This build is a 
wannabe crossblade build it never achieved its purpose they are going for super duper mega crits they have four four rings of crits they're gonna only be critting they also have a ripsaw blade like everybody else but guess what we have we have two caps of resilience keeping us in this game to maybe not lose i'm still gaining my vampirism this guy's not doing anything man it's so anticlimactic so anticlimactic i think this is a win boom both goobers just fired 52 and 50 damage right there and literally next goober fire you're dead and it's about to happen in three two one boom goobers fire gone <coughs> easy enough and they both critted again we had 13 luck so that's like 65 percent crit chance right there and this was doing 30 to 34 this was such an anticlimactic fight at the end a bit unlucky but it is what it is it was a decent attempt from this guy by the way uh for what reason did you have the ripsaw blade here instead of having another strong potion lined up with the rest i wouldn't know they didn't really spend all the energy so at the end of the day it doesn't really matter but once again it doesn't make sense to me to have a ripsaw blade here especially because you even have potion here dribble space what is this and why do you have the potion belt here and and these are not all these aren't even connected man this super anticlimactic and now that i'm looking into the min max that is completely failed i'm even more sad mad about this you could have just put this wherever and take this thing uh, obviously put, take these two one of them goes here one of them goes here this goes wherever land yeah like this should be lined up here and the other one too like a bit lower like it, um, Man, if you have 50,000 potions and you don't have potions belts lined up with them, I don't know what you're doing. Once again, the energy was not the issue. The crazy healing that they missed out is the issue. Because energy-wise, obviously, they still had energy as this didn't even fire. So, um, yeah, I don't know, man. This could have been so much better. Not that they would have beaten us in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we, we were doing too much in so many fronts. I think the only way we could have lost is either if we got 100 poison... Like, that's the one way, because, like, potion explosion and 100 poison, boom, boom, we go down to half and then explode, and we don't have time to build up. Or, if the opponent was, um, what could it have been, honestly? I don't know, comment down below and tell me what you think could have beaten us, other than the potion explosion build. Uh, maybe an Excalibur build with 5 or 6 mana, and then just a bunch of mana blades. You know, the run I did yesterday. Although, the run I did yesterday literally lost to the run I'm playing today, so... No, I, I think nothing could have beaten us. Also, we had them at zero luck because of the triple Jinx Torquilla. So that's nice. And I, while I was at 13. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Really powerful build here. This does not beat everything, as I said. Uh, you can really quickly die against the millions of Thorn Blades I fought. And if you remember at the beginning of the fight, I told you that I, I tried this again and I literally died because I fought three or four Thorn Blades back to back. Uh, Ripsaw Blades back to back. And as you saw, we literally fought another four to five back to back. It's, it's just like everybody's playing Thorn. Uh, like everybody's trying to do something and just go Ripsaw Blade, man. I, I'm not sure if I promoted the Ripsaw Blade or who did, but everybody's playing Ripsaw Blade. It literally counters half the builds. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.